Hello, my name is Emily Wright. I am the creator of It'll Be Alright, and I am delighted to be joining you at the Gatherverse Wellverse Summit 2023. Today, I will be sharing something called the Four Stages of Thought, which is something that I use to help me with overthinking. Everything that I'm going to be sharing with you today is just based off of my experience. This is what helps me and I wanted to share it with you just in case it helps you too. In 2017-2018, I received multiple traumatic brain injuries and I was instructed by various medical professionals to lay in a pitch black room with no stimulation until I experienced 24 hours with no symptoms. If you know anything about traumatic brain injuries and concussions, then you know that this is not the thing to do. And as a result, my condition deteriorated. I reached a point where I could barely talk or walk or open my eyes or sit up without assistance. However, this experience did give me the time to work through the overthinking in my mind. And it gave me the time to address my depression and to work with my chaotic mind to bring it to a place of calm so I could find my inner peace and bring clarity to my mind. Before we get into it, I would like to first outline two things. In terms of what we're speaking about today, a thought process is a linear process where the thought is stimulated, you then process the thought, respond to the stimulus and then conclude the thought and be ready to move on to the next thought. Sometimes, however, this doesn't quite work out the way we'd like. And if we're not able to find an appropriate conclusion to a thought, it can begin again and repeat. And this is when we have a thought cycle. Thought cycles are a big contributor to overthinking in my view and I think that these can be responsible for feeling like you have a clouded mind. So what I'm about to present to you today will hopefully give you some tools in how we can effectively work with thought cycles to bring them to a place of peace. When it comes to our trains of thought, the first thing we need to do is bring awareness to what is going on. If we are struggling with overthinking, what is it that we're overthinking? We need to pay attention to recurring themes and scenes. Are there particular memories that keep coming up? Are there particular hopes or dreams you have that keep cycling back? And what does that mean to you? With this, we need to become aware of our thought cycles, in particular, something which I call an automated thought cycle or an ATC. And these are the thought cycles that are fueled by the subconscious mind. And these are what can be a little bit scary sometimes because we can feel like we're out of control of our minds when our subconscious is consistently bringing up thought processes that we don't necessarily want. But the thing is, it's these thought processes or these thought cycles that are really important. The ones that repeat are important because it could mean your subconscious mind is trying to tell you something. So the goal of the four stages of thought is to, in general, bring thought cycles to thought processes. So we can take those cycles and bring them to conclusion and therefore go from chaos and overthinking, a crowded mind to a clear mind, to a calm mind. The first stage is distraction. In stage one, this is when we try to distract ourselves from the issue. We ignore it. We fill our minds with as much stimulation as possible from many different sources that could be external or internal to prevent the thought cycle from surfacing. So for example, we could be filling our time with loads of tasks or technology or entertainment or education, or we could be thinking about as many different things as we can other than the thing that we should be addressing. Once we have realized that there's something that we do need to address, this brings us to stage two, introspection. In this stage, we have to look inwards, do some self-reflection, 
and find the source of our discomfort. We have to give our overthinking a bit of breath and allow our thoughts to unravel so we can follow them backwards to the source. This brings us to stage three, extrospection. Once you have determined what the source of your overthinking is, you now need to look at how it's affecting your behavior and how your behavior is affecting everybody else around you. It's important that we recognize that our thoughts and our feelings are very powerful, not just for ourselves, but also for other people. And we may not realize that we have certain thoughts and feelings that are negatively impacting people around us. So it's important that we not only bring awareness to our internal environment, but also our external environment and see how they relate. Once we have done so, we can look forwards to stage four resolution, where we can begin to instill new habits that allow us to proactively work with our thought cycles. There are two different ways that we can do this that I'm gonna to present today. One of them is redirection and the other one is replacement. The purpose of redirection is to take a thought cycle and give it a solution to convert it into a linear thought process. Replacement is when you take an automated thought cycle and create a new one to replace the old one. In redirection, the first thing we have to do is observe and acknowledge when the particular cycle comes into play. So in this example, A, B, C cycle is the cycle we're trying to convert into a process. So the next time we observe cycle A, B, C, we have to stop ourselves and say, no, actually this cycle has a conclusion. It has a solution of D. And you have to do this repeatedly. Every single time you observe the particular cycle in your mind, deliberately offer the solution. And eventually your subconscious mind will associate the two together and it will automatically present solution D every time cycle A, B, C presents itself in your mind. In this way, we can effectively redirect thought cycles into thought processes that have a stable conclusion. The alternative is to replace the automated thought cycle with a new one. So in this example, let's talk about self-image. So let's say that you have a habit of speaking negatively to yourself in front of a mirror. We're really good at picking out our own flaws. So let's say in this example, every time you look in the mirror, you think to yourself, I'm fat and I'm ugly and I'm weak. If you do that every single time, your subconscious mind will eventually associate the mirror and that thought cycle together. So every time you see a mirror, it will automatically trigger the thought cycle of fat, ugly and weak. So the goal here is to replace the negative thought cycle with a positive one. The next time you notice that you're having an automated thought cycle that harbors negative sentiment. So in this example, that's ugly, fat, weak. Every time you realize that you're telling yourself that, you have to consciously stop yourself and say, no, actually, I am this, I am strong, I am powerful, I am beautiful. Every time you realize that you are telling yourself negative things, change it consciously and replace them with positive things. And eventually, your subconscious mind will associate the two together. So in this example, every time you tell yourself you are fat, you are ugly, you are weak, your mind will then automatically tell you, no, you are strong, you are powerful, you are beautiful. And that's the goal. So you'll see that we can consciously work with our subconscious mind to create a healthier state of mind and a happier state of being. The four stages of thought take steps to create a more productive and happy mind. The four stages of thought and how they came to be are described in more detail in my book, My Brain Explained, 
the modern conversation of the mind. So you're welcome to follow me on any of my social media platforms for announcements. And you're also welcome to reach out to me if you have any more questions or you're interested in learning more about the conscious and subconscious minds. Thank you so much for listening. I'm delighted to be here and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.